Hey, welcome back to the Ready State. One of the questions we're always getting is, you know, what, what's really going on when we use percussion? So I want to make a quick video for you. I have my forward-looking infrared adapter here, which basically just picks up temperature of your body, a nice thermal image. It's easy to see changes in blood flow as a respect to changes in temperature. Now, what I've done is I've taken my hypervolt and I just applied it to one problem, which is, hey, what happens if I did a lot of bike riding and my knee was a little sore or I'm running or squatting and I've got a little soreness in this quad ligament, which is the, the ligament between the patella and the shin, right? We call it a quad tendon, but it's really a ligament. It goes bone to bone for technical aspects. But the idea here is, what's really going on? So when I have an acute pain-related problem, maybe from some overuse or poor prep or even just an adaptation response or suddenly nothing has changed except my life got super stressful and now my knee hurts after my run. All of it doesn't matter. What matters is what are you gonna do about it, right? So hopefully you can be stressed and you can walk and you can eat right and do all, all the things that you need to do. Comma, what we want you to appreciate is having a set of tools that always does a couple things. One, can I desensitize something? So sometimes it was just some compression or a little uh, percussion you can make something change in your body that affects how your brain is, is thinking about a painful area. And this is why we love some compression prior to exercise when people have little painful spots. They, they hit it for a minute or so and it feels better. Second, can we decongest an area? So if we know we have an area that's uh, maybe a little swollen or, or we just had a failure to evacuate after a, a strenuous response or stimulus stimulus, sometimes that can lead us to having, you know, fluid in a space that's not used to having that much fluid and that can be signaling my brain that something's going on with my knee, right? And lastly, what we see is oftentimes when people have had these problems for a long time, the inflammatory response has stopped or we have tissues that aren't well perfused, they don't get a lot of blood flow. And what we think is, all of these things are happening all the time, right? There's never ever, when I use an intervention, I'm never ever going to address one system at a time. But I wanna show you a case study where I have this knee my knee was fine, but I'm showing you, it's cold. I hit it with my hypervolt for 90 seconds and it turns bright red. And if we can think about some of our musculoskeletal issues, especially when we have a, an issue of like an apophysitis, an insertional problem or an insertional disruption to the bone, or we've got a tendon sheath or I've just irritated something, blood flow always is a good idea. So what are the tools I have to quickly put some input in. Do I need to hypervolt my whole body? Well, maybe, some days. Some days are harder than the other in training. But quick targeted motion with a hypervolt, the forward looking infrared, you can see what we did in 90 seconds. Enjoy. So one of the things you'll hear us say is, you know, can we decongest a painful area? How do we desensitize a painful area? And how do we reperfuse it? painful area. And oftentimes it's the last one, the reperfusion that gives people some confusion. So here I am, I'm, I'm using the FLIR and uh, I, this is my quad ligament. So here's my patella. We've got some good bright color in my quads. And then down below here, it's kind of cold in this area. You can see the darker the color, the less blood flow. So you can see my hand is hot. My fingers are not nearly as warm as my hand is and then down to the shin. So what we have is an area of lower temperature. There's just less vasculature, et cetera, et cetera. But imagine you have a painful site here in this quad ligament, and that may be, for whatever reason, overuse, uh, I don't know, you just, you know, you abused yourself, or you just did nothing, and uh, you've got a little painful site. So one of the things that we're, we're huge fans of, and I've got this hypervolt here, is using percussion and to see if we can, one, desensitize, and maybe it's the mechanical input. You can restore sliding surfaces by getting some motion in, right? Just get tissues sliding over one another. And then finally, sometimes it's just about perfusion. We're just about, hey, let's create some improvements, some increases in the microcirculation, just the really small sublevels. And obviously, exercise and loading is part of the game here. But we often find that if we can improve the environment with some motion, and in this situation, the motion is this, this percussion through this ligament. And you can see that I've just been doing this for a minute now. And I'm very light. I'm on the lightest setting possible. I can go to 
sub max 10, let me just pump it up. We can go higher. So now we're really, right? But the idea is it's very tolerable. And I'm just going back and forth. I'm not hitting the bones. I'm not I'm just going back and forth on the soft tissue. We're coming up on, I'm just gonna do 90 seconds here because that seems like a reasonable amount of motion. So that's 90 seconds. And then we take this off. You can see that in this band, which is the ligament that we were talking about, I've got some increased blood flow to this area. And if this is an insertional problem, a hypophysitis, where I've got an insertion onto bone problem, that increased blood flow is not only bringing nutrients in and all the growth factors and everything else, but it's also encouraging the, the removal of waste. And you can see how much redder my leg got in the course of 90 seconds on a specific intervention. So I don't have to think about, you know, hypervolting my entire body. But man, if I have a painful site, 90 seconds to two minutes of just doing some superficial may be enough to, to change how my brain is perceiving this is going on. And really that's the game, right? The game is what is it my body is supposed to do? What are the tools available to me? And uh, what a difference, huh? There it is. 90 seconds of hypervolt on that quad ligament.